they are racist. We are still being discriminated in housing, in education, in government, all these things. If you don't believe me, simply turn on your television. Black folks are 14% of the population. When you turn on your television, do you see 14% representation? And if you could look behind the scenes, you still will not see 14%. Matter of fact, you will see less black people behind the camera and behind the scenes than in front of the camera. You don't even have black shows to watch no more. The only thing we have now on tell live vision is black tokens in certain shows. So you turn on your TV to see your favorite token Negro on television. Television in a televised country. It's a lie that you are a real, true, full citizen in this nation. And I don't want to argue with you. I just separate. There's no need to argue with white folks or anybody. Just get out of the house. Now, there are these black folks. They can get along. They don't mind being mistreated, disrespected. They don't mind waiting another 400 years for another mulatto president and jump for joy, and the mulatto president don't do nothing for them. You should want your own. What's wrong with having your own? Is there is there something wrong with me because I want to be treated fair? So there's something wrong with me, right? There's something wrong with me because I don't want to live with people who don't like me. That call me names. Oh, you just lazy. You ain't made nothing of your life. You this and that. I don't want to live with no people like that. Man, I want to get, woo, I want to get rough. But I told somebody, I'm going to try to watch my mouth. But I'm dealing with some demons. Oh. So you can't get along with somebody. I don't have to like you. Some of y'all, y'all don't like you love your parents, but you can't live with your parents anymore. So somebody got to go because you can't live under your parents' rules no more. You don't want to be under your parents' ways no more. Hold on. Go into part two. Now, for me, I don't understand... Why would anybody, why are we getting upset when separation is suggested to us? That's hatred. So if to separate black people from white folks is hatred, then we need to rethink a lot of the things that we do. Because we separate those who have criminal behavior away from society. We separate pedophiles from children. We separate those who abuse other people away from other folks. Those who mistreat animals, we separate those who exploit others. We separate ourselves from animals that could cause us harm. You don't see folks wanting to live around lions and tigers and bears. We are already separated. Just this year, on the white man's tele television, this is what Caucasian people are reporting on their media. 
they say and reported some white folks taking their children out of school because they don't want their children to be around black children. This is 2011. Explain that to me. Come on. There are white people in the white community. Where is this multicultural community, this fictional land that y'all live in? It don't exist. That's why we are not Americans. Because if we were Americans, I would not be able to talk like that. But you got white America over here. Black community. Chinese community, Italian community, Jamaican community, everybody separated. But we don't get any benefit in our separation. All these different people come into the black community and leech off of us. Aren't you tired of being exploited? Aren't you tired of folks making mockery of you, degrading you? But at the same time, they use you. Time to go to war. They want to put your body on the front line. We should be sick of being mistreated. And these suckers bleeding us dry. When you are married, there is a compromise in marriage. It's no longer your way. You have to respect your wife. You have to respect your husband. You have to respect those, even your children. Everybody have to respect one another that live in the same house. But in this house, black folks are not respected. Because there is no love for us. You don't love us. Don't tell me that lie. Your actions speak louder than your words. As a nation, you don't love us. As a people, I'm not talking about Alan. I'm not talking about Billy Bob. I'm not talking about Fred, the good white guys. I'm not talking about them. I want to send a shout out to my friend, Jerron. Jerron. <laughs> I'm not talking about the minority. And see, that's why I understand. I'm talking about a vast majority. I'm talking about these systems these people that control these systems and the way things are in this nation. I'm not talking about certain individuals. And we should be sick and tired of living with them. If everybody was like Fred or Alan or whoever, the white folks that y'all talking about are good. If the nation was like that, we would have this problem. But they are not. So it is expedient upon us to grow up and find a place of our own. Because they don't want to treat you with love. They don't want to treat you with respect. They want to bring you excuses. But they still want you to pay the same high rent. And even some of theirs. That, brothers and sisters, we should no longer tolerate and teach our children to accept being abused. But that's how it is. In the mentality of people, when they are abused, they begin to fall in love with the oppressor. Think about it. It's the only solution. We need to really seriously think about divorce and finding a way out of here. There are other places to go. There are people that will love you. Just like when you leave that abused man or woman, that uh, abusive man or woman, Somebody out there, you can find real love. You don't have to stay with an explorer. Think about it. Thank you for listening. This is your brother, Talik Ibn Raw. This was and is. Jot down your comments. Let's talk about it. This was and is the Reality is Temple on Earth.